What is going on guys? Welcome back to NASCAR Heat Evolution. I almost said NASCAR Heat 5, but um been a while since I've recorded another three month long break pretty much. But we're gonna get back into career mode. Maybe this will be the, the final run to get us to the end of the season, but we are going in with Martinsville, Texas, and Bristol couple short tracks in a mile and a half. So I think we're just gonna get things underway. Okay, pretty funny that we see Hamlin uh, as the driver for Martinsville. But oh yeah, we got a, the new scheme here. Looking pretty nice, honestly. So, um, Martinsville. This could be our make or break race to get us into the playoffs because this is the easiest track in the game. So, I just need to make sure everything goes smooth and... Wait a second, I want to do something really quick. Yeah, hold on a second. Um, what can I get the most money? No, let's do this one and then that. Yeah, okay. I wanted to change the sponsors to be the hardest goals because this is being the easiest track. If we beat them, we're going to get a good amount of money. So, that is a good strategy. I'm glad I remembered to do that. I got to remember how to play. Not that there's really much to learn in this game when you're on arcade physics. Man, I just, I want to get to Heat 2 so bad, man. But I'm not going to leave this series hanging. I want to finish it. I want to give it a proper finish, even if we haven't really made that much progress in the long run, so. I've just got a new interest in recording because I have better internet now. It's been a thing for a long time about how I have, like, you know, crappy internet. And that makes it really hard for me to upload. Whenever I want to upload stuff, or whenever I did want to upload stuff, um, I had to literally take my laptop to McDonald's or anywhere with faster internet and do it there. But finally, I have decent uh, internet speed. I went from 3 megabytes per second, megabits per second, download in less than one for upload to now having over 200 in both download and upload um which is about what the places i was going to add it's not the best but like oh my gosh i just can't believe i have it you know i live in a rural area i've been waiting for it for years man and i'm glad it's here and it's, it's working good so far but um focusing on the race we didn't actually qualify where I expected. We gotta hope we can just make a run through the race. We got time, so... Um, I still do wonder, I theorize about, if the AI get better along as your car is. Did, did the AI get better throughout your career? I kind of feel that way. Like, I, I feel like we should be doing better right now. But we just started. And we are making spots. Matty D up here, that's actually realistic. But in this game, that's kind of crazy. Oh, that car is actually... Oh, I can't see a thing. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Kyle Bush not having a good day. Are cautions on? Well, no, I believe this uh, race link doesn't allow for cautions, right? So... <clears throat> But we very rarely get caught up in wrecks in this game anyway. It's only happened a couple times in the whole career. Well, there is damage. I don't know how much damage will matter, but... Um, just set a new PB, that's a good sign. You want to always be faster um, when you have a faster car. To show that there is actual improvements being made. So, um, breaking those lap records shows that we are faster than we used to be. And we have a, a sub-20. And make that a, another tenth off of that time. Or hundredth off that time. Um, we're up here in third, which would give us our top three goal. We don't need to win, even though that would get us into the chase. But the top three will give us that uh, sponsor goal. I think I was a bit over-ambitious on the goals I chose, but we can still get top three and top five. 
and right now we're in that position. Logano and Dale Jr. are at it. We gotta hold off Jimmy and Kurt Busch. And whoever else is back there. Exit, we make a lot of games. But now the, the, the question comes, can we catch those two? Well, if we reach lap traffic, that'll slow them down a lot. That's how this game usually works. But the race is shorter now. I'm not sure how much time uh, will actually be in lap traffic if we even catch them. Oh, that was a bit dicey up there. I'm just kind of in focusing mode. There's not really much going on right now. The gap seems about the same, but they have caught lap traffic, so we have nine laps to make our move. Unfortunately, we actually have people catching up. We should be able to hold them off, and we are making gains now. We just gotta bully our way through lap traffic. I'm getting Steam messages. <sighs> I don't think you should be able to see them, but... Yeah, my friend's trolling me again. Not the first time. Good thing I don't believe you can see the uh, Steam pop-ups. I shouldn't have said anything about going to record today. He's saying if you sub to him, he'll give you some popcorn. Well, if uh, you sub to me, you get nothing. That's a lot better deal. Okay, now he's telling me to go win the race. You know what? Let's do it. I think we can. We're in P2. Come on. <laughs> now he's got me hyped up. There's Lugano. We need more lap traffic. There's only one car. I would like some more. We don't have much time. We're sitting on the outside. Come on, Michael and Ed. Be slower. Be slower. Block him. We got a clear net. Ah, I can't clear the lap car. There we go. We're in the lead. A couple more laps. Two laps to go at Martinsville. Not the cleanest racer, but I never am. But let's get this cat Chevrolet to victory lane. Taking a white flag, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. How many wins do I even have in this? Have I won at Martinsville before? I know I've gotten close. But, uh, this is gonna be it, boys. Big wall of cars in front of me, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna take the check flag at the easiest track in the game. Now we don't have to worry about uh, any more wins this regular season. We just need to worry about getting better, getting faster. And maybe some other wins for some playoff points. Maddie D with 15th. Not too much else of interest. There we go. We did get that money. And all the prize money as well. 500 grand in one race. Pretty good. 
22 points, but we got that win. We got the grandfather clock. Yep. There's no victory lane scene, but the trophies are kind of nice. Alright, Texas. Well, first, we're going to make our sponsors back to normal. Actually, I want to make these reverse. Hold on a second. How much do we need for an upgrade again? A lot, I know. Oh, uh, not as much as I thought. Then we'll get another horsepower improvement. Oh, that's gonna be good. So, uh, yeah. Let me check the, who the winners are really quick. Uh, Chase Standing. Yeah, okay. Well, let's get back into it with Texas. I like the fun facts of Clinton's game, too. Um, alright. I don't really know what else there is to talk about. I was actually going to ask about, in that last race, there is this weird orange thing on the back of the car, under the Chevy logo. I now realize that was the sponsor. I'm not sure. It, it looks like it was the shape of Tennessee, but I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's just what that logo looks like or if it was glitched or what, but, um, now that we've changed the sponsor back to Snap Fitness, it looks normal. But it was something else. I was gonna mention that and I forgot. Now we're gonna go back to running in the 20s or whatever, so. I, I think my goal is to try to get a sub-31 in this race, so we'll need to show that we're faster. Especially these larger tracks. Luckily, handling's not much of an issue here. Can't say that about some of the later games here, but... Ah. I think that was no PB, and we still only beat one car. I don't hear Rick Allen at all. I, I mean, we did basically just give up on trying to hear the intros because of the way this game's volume mixing works. Cause I, I'm still not really sure which audio channel the, um, in the audio settings, which one counts towards the, those cutscenes. The same thing happens in Heat 2 with the video messages, too. But, um, that was turned up really quiet, and I don't know how to make it go up. Which uh, setting counts for the video messages? It'll be more important in the future games because the video messages in the like Heat Two, Three, and Four are really funny. So. Meanwhile, we are in the Battle of Mid. About what you expect. I overestimated saying I'd be running in the 20s, man. Let me through, let me through. We just need to run with these. The draft. So yeah, that was a new PB in qualifying. And I would say we can probably do better once we get to cars our own speed and we get the draft, so. Draft or get a smooth field. I always say the goal, your goal finishing position for each race, my mindset is it should be where you're running in points. So if you're running 20 second points, I feel like your goal should be to finish 20 second or higher on average. Um, that's kind of how I feel. Are we gonna do a top? Are we gonna get a top 22? Probably not. Top 30? 
Maybe. You gotta keep pushing. If, oh my gosh. Ah, flat footed around the high side. Uh, I'm getting more messages from my friend. Quit trolling me, man. Now he's saying the fitness grand pacer test is a multi stage Arabic capacity test. I mean, if you think about it, NASCAR is one big pacer test, except the results mean something. Alright, we're in the top 30. Okay, so technical difficulties. Uh, I decided to check on the recording after I finished Texas, and it turns out I completely ran out of storage. So the end of that race was lost. Second time this has happened. Um, did not realize I was that low on storage. The good news is that I caught it, and you didn't really miss much. So Joey Logano won the race, and I finished in 24th. So not much at all changed, but. I did get new secondary sponsors, and now the requirements are more strict, but I've already set it up how I want it, so, yeah, that's what you missed, not much. We're gonna do Bristol now, everything should be good to finish the video, I'm not gonna let this ruin it again, I'm just gonna take uh, the Bristol recording and splice it in with the, uh, the last recording. First time I'm actually doing an edit on this series, <laughs> and I've said before, I probably will do cuts on later games, but for sake of consistency, uh, for this game, I'm just gonna keep it raw. But that's an exception, because, you know, I want to keep the three races per video and also explain why I didn't get the ending of Texas race, so. Uh, but I am paranoid now. Let me just make sure everything's still working. Um, looks like it, so. Wait, where did we qualify? I wasn't paying attention. I blinked out for a second. I was thinking about like other stuff. We qualify top 10. I forgot that Bristol is also a relatively easy track, but at this point, we don't really need to change the sponsor goals because they're always high. So, um, let's see what we can do here. Sorry, Carl. Uh, sorry, Carl. Sorry, Stuart. I almost said Boyer. You just can't turn here, man. The good news is this should be a lot shorter than, uh, Martinsville. Because I always find it dumb. The Martins from Bristol races are the same length in terms of laps and distance, but Martinsville is always so longer because of how much you have to break there. Um, like, it ends up being like a minute longer at Martinsville, and as much as I already hate turning laps there, it just makes Martinsville agonizing in most cases because you just want it to end. But then it ends up being one of the longer races because of the laps are being longer, but there being too many of them. Like, we're running like three seconds, two to three seconds faster at Bristol than we were at Martinsville. But they're the same number of laps. And part of that makes me wish that Bristol was longer. <laughs> uh, where's my mirror? Crap, where's my mirror? Sorry, Brad. Uh, couldn't see exactly what I did to him. Can we get another win? 
I wasn't expecting that. I know Bristol lost up pretty easy, but um, that would be unheard of. And also makes me wish I changed the sponsor goal. But hey, we'll remember for next time. We got to go to both Bristol and Martinsville again this season. So can we get two wins? I wasn't counting on it, but we just have to pass Kurt. We are keeping up with them mostly, and we should hit lap traffic pretty soon. There they are. We just gotta keep going. We're actually catching them without any lap traffic assistance, so when we do, I think we'll have this one, but I also gotta be wary of tire wear, no pun intended. The right front's already lost quite a bit. And I can feel it. <sighs> Why is my record so much faster? What did I do in my record? Oh wait, that's probably from uh that's from quick play. That's what I can do in an unupgraded car. Or fully upgraded car. So that tells you right there that uh, I can run half a second better with a fully upgraded car. So when we do get that horsepower upgrade in a couple races, it should help. So I kind of feel like grip is the main thing I need right now. Even though we, we just had two grip upgrades, it looks like. Anyway, this won't take long. This race, like... We just fly through this race. Like, Martinsville is like, what, seven minutes? This is gonna... This will not be seven minutes. But it also, you know, time, time flies by when you're having fun. And this track's a lot more fun than, than Martinsville. I'm just kind of cruising, just trying to get this race over with. We got a one and a half second lead, we should be fine. We just need to not wreck, which should be fine. We've lapped 10 cars. Good old Michael and that, the guy used to be racing every race. Now I'm putting them a lap down. Even though the next race I'll probably be racing again. I mean, technically, I'm racing all these guys every race, but you know what I mean. Got around Di Burrito and Ryan inside Laney. So, that should be about it. We are going to make it a 2 in 1 most likely. 2 and 3 technically, but you know what I mean. 2 in 1 video. Because these short tracks are just too easy. But I'm on the hardest difficulty. You can't say, oh no, you're playing cheating. I mean, yes, I'm on arcade physics, but as I've said before, simulation physics are impossible to drive, at least on a controller. So, um. That's going to do it. That's going to get us two wins in one video. What a wild video. <clears throat> what if I just cut out all of Texas instead of just having the ending be cut? So it's like, what what, what third race? that We just did Martinsville and Bristol, and I won both. But no. Okay, 104 speed rating is kind of insulting. Where, where's that last 105th point, huh? But uh, that was like... 45 seconds shorter than Martinsville. 
We got some good money. It could have been more, but still pretty good. What's the trophy? It is a trophy. Oof. What's next? Richmond, Dega, Kansas. That's what we'll be doing next time. Um, Money-wise, we still don't have enough. We'll get there. We'll get there next next time. So, and then we'll get that horsepower upgrade. And then we gotta go to the final shop upgrade. As for standings, we gained one spot. Yet we have two wins. And here's what we got otherwise. Nothing too. Uh, nothing too much to write home about. So. Yeah, I think we accomplished a lot in this race. Couple wins. <laughs> How about that? So, next time, we're going to go to another short track. One that's not quite as easy. And then Dega should be fun. And then Kansas. I think Kansas is usually pretty rough. So, we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching this episode of NASCAR Evolution. I really appreciate any support that I get from these videos. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.